Welcome guys to my let's play of Jurassic Park the game and more so the commentary on Jurassic Park the game let's play since I uh, you know like I said I screwed up the audio so we are in front of the um, lovely panel to get the amusement park ride going so we're gonna get it going Whoa. well that's it since the ride is in maintenance mode it should be safe it won't go very fast come on the sooner we get to the coast, the sooner this will all be over. Now, I do like the fact that with this mistake... On. This is gonna be a short trip. With Jurassic Park, I've kind of learned my lesson, and yes, I'm talking in a cinematic. We got dinosaurs popping up. And you know what? I have no clue what kind of dinosaurs these are. This has been bugging me, and I haven't Googled it of what kind they are. I'm gonna shut up so you guys can watch. Oh yeah, this is the best amusement park ride ever. You end your ride and you become a good feast. And that's how they die. And I thought I get I thought that was gruesome. But no, it, it kind of gets worse in the later episodes. You're, you kind of see. Um, but yeah, with this kind of mistake I'm making with, with Jurassic, regards to the audio and doing the commentary, I've learned actually quite a lot. Um, with Ori and time seeking and all that fun stuff. I'm gonna talk through this till we get to the part that continues on. Um, but yeah, I've learned quite a bit. So I have to thank my big screw up in Jurassic Park. It is actually it has helped me quite a bit. We go for a little ride. Please, don't say ride. So what did you call those things that were chasing you? Hairy sauruses? Herrerasaurus from the Triassic era. Now that we've bred them, we can easily classify them as early theropod. Oh yeah, early theropod. That's exactly what I've been saying all these years. Right, Oscar? Where's Denny? Decaf! You 
take the chopper. I'll check the perimeter. Stay put. H-U-121, eh? I haven't seen one of these in a while. Boy, your pilot's a real slob. Keep your mouth shut. Don't even think about it. Delis. And it's jammed. Oscar! I don't like what's going on here, man. Decaf's gun's jammed, there's a blood trail over there, and he never leaves his helmet on the ground. Never. Decaf is M.I.A. M.I.A. M.I.A.? No way, man. He was supposed to stay with the chopper. He's gotta be around here somewhere. Billy, you feel that? We've already lost Bravo team and... and, and, and... Billy! Look, we are not leaving without Decaf. I mean, we agree, right? Oh, man. I will not let you turn this into Nicaragua all over again. Eddie! We've got a situation here. Inside the chopper, now. Oscar, I've got no power. I'm on it. All right, I'm going to talk during this. Uh, basically, I had to find the right battery in order to get the helicopter going. Um, so, yeah. Um, it's a fun time because it takes me a while. Um, what was I going to say? I totally forgot what I could say. This is terrible. I had something planned and I derped out on it. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh, actually, one thing... I'm excited about is next week is Jurassic World, that movie premiere. I'm very excited. Oh, we got a tread helicopter. Does it work? Does it work? That battery's not responding. Try another one. I kind of spoiled it because I said earlier in the commentary that, you know, Did we you have a couple that, time Oscar? tries. I like when that happens. Pick up the pace. Um, so yeah, we're gonna try and find the battery, which literally means I have to take it out, pick another battery, put it in, try that process again. It's kind of tedious. And I remember what I was going to talk about. Holy pickles. I do notice in this game, I don't know if I mentioned the previous previous commentary or not, that this game has this habit of, I have the audio at a perfect level that you can hear my voice and the game's audio perfectly fine. And then during like the big action scenes, like that roller coaster thing, the audio just spikes up really high to the fact that to the point that you can't hear the dialogue. I've noticed that with a couple parts in this series. It must have been just a glitch with the game where they didn't really um, Look, program audio settings when it came to cutscenes. I'm guessing that's the problem. Um, yeah. Never got it really tinkered out, but... It, it kind of works out if I'm doing commentary on this in that regards. And we finally got power. Boot! <laughs> and it's everybody's favorite party member. He just wants to join the helicopter ride too. He's like, oh, you guys are ready? Oh, let's do this. Let's go. He wants to join. Do you not, do you not see that face of, I want to join? <laughs> He's pissy there. Like, I would get pissy too if I couldn't go on a helicopter ride with these guys. See, now he's screaming, damn it. Like, jeez. <laughs> And this scene is 
kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie. So who's left? Dr. Sorkin and her assistant. Then we get the hell out of here. What about Decap? Decap's dead. I like your tattoos. Why don't you tell her what your tattoos mean? What do they mean? Gravestones are for the people who die beside him. The skulls are for the people who die because of him. Tell us, where are you gonna put decap tombstone? You running out of room. What did you say? Hey, come on. It's been a long day and everyone's just a little tense. Let's keep it together, guys. I'm not afraid of you two. Me? Yeah, well, I'm more of a lover than a fighter. But Oscar... Listen, don't do this. Oscar gets a little... Look, it was his time. Bogota. These men were razzing him, getting in the way, and then they weren't. Know what I mean? Don't be fooled. You're in the company of killers. You're no safer than you were in the jungle. Company of killers? Oh, that's got a nice ring to it. Oh, it could be a hit single. Yeah, you're in the company of killers. Yeah! You need further proof that these men are crazy. This is what they do. They hurt people, and then they joke about it. Yeah, like I said, this I find this scene a little jokes. weird. Oscar, tell her the one about the priest, the stripper, and the bucket of frogs. <laughs> Pay attention! This is how men act when they lack the courage to face themselves. No, I like to look at myself. I mean, check out this gorgeous face. Who wouldn't? I'm surprised you can see it all with your head stuck up your... That's enough! Oh, boy. What are you gonna do, kill me? You did that to me once already. You're crazy! I'm thinking of getting a butterfly tattoo. On my I'm ankle. gonna carve the names of the people you killed into those stones. Then we'll see hey, how proud you listen, are. Listen, there's still more people who need our help. Whatever your issues are, you can work them out when we get to the mainland. And no, you cannot get a tattoo. Like, I understand it's character development and story progress. It's just... It's going for the cliche of they don't get along, something happens, and then they work together as a team to get off the island kind of shenanigans. Dr. And I don't know. Oh, thank goodness you're safe. After we lost contact, I was worried something had happened to you. We have had quite a day, Dr. Sorkin. I'll bet. Systems are down all over the damn park. Dinosaurs are running free. Ugh, bring the kids. Fun for all. Hey, don't worry, kid. We're fairly geographically cut off from the rest of the island out here. Nothing but herbivores around these parts. What's going on here? There were some complications. Who are you? Pleased to meet you, Dr. Sorkin. InGen hired us to get everyone off this island. I'm Billy Yoder. This is Look, let's just get this out of the way. I'm not going anywhere. This part of the island is pretty remote and is a long way from the Predators. I'm perfectly safe and I don't need saving. That's not a good idea, man. But, since you're here, what you can do is start loading the stacks of bureaucratic in-gen paperwork that's taking up valuable space. They were supposed to have sent for that stuff months ago. Listen, lady, we don't have time for this. You either get in the helicopter peacefully, or I will personally knock you out, put you in cuffs, and throw you in! You lay one hand on me and I will have you so ass deep in litigation that you'll be reading legal text for a decade. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you know what? If it'll help us get off this island faster, we'll move your boxes. Where are they? Uh, over there, at the loading dock. You heard the lady. Can I help? Sorry, yeah, I was kind of debating it pretty girls. hard. Look how skinny you are, anyhow. Don't you drink milk? Oh, I thought you guys were a rescue team. Then I guess you're just here for manual labor. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. We're highly trained soldiers for hire here. We're loading this stuff up as a courtesy. Do they teach you to lift with your legs in mercenary school? Or do you bring a dolly with you on rescue missions? <laughs> ah, you're a smart-ass kid, aren't you? I also like football and hate shopping, but I still can't find a boyfriend. <laughs> okay. 
So basically, we'll. Serious? What? I'm taking a break. Good idea. I don't want you to strain yourself. We're finally so at. The deal? I keep wanting to talk. Circuit lights on board to get off this island. Trust me. If we bully that one, she's gonna cause problems. So what do we do? Simple. Charm. All I need to do is get some information on this woman. Dig into her past. Find out what makes her tick. I'm sure if I say enough of the right things, she'll practically think getting off the island was her idea in the first place. Hey, can I have one of those? Okay. So right, as they- sorry, I really wanted to talk during that and I forgot about the scene part. So basically, we need to find more information on Dr. Sorkin. I am gonna oh, ask and like talk. A of wet dog hair. I know, right? I don't get why dinosaurs eat that stuff. And interact with everything. We kind of find why the dinosaurs have to eat that barrel of stuff and things too. Don't worry about that. So, who feels like carrying these boxes back to the helicopter? Me neither. So even this part seems kind of off for a Jurassic Park things. They look game. Like they weigh a ton. I think Dr. Sorkin said we're only supposed to move file boxes. Oh, yeah. Well, good. Like, it's a rescue mission, and we have to, you know, take boxes. Like, hey, Oscar. Yeah. Was there any dirt on Dr. Sorkin in the mission briefing? If I'm going to have to use the old Yoder charm, I'll need some intel. Big time protester in the 70s. Lots of animal rights crap. Handful of arrests for it. All of her engine related history is classified. Said to expect her to be a pain in the ass. It said that? Between the lines. And of course, finding more information. Gonna load all this crap into the chopper. No, no. But you better do it if you want to get on a good side. Okay. Well, thanks. You've been a great help. So, yeah, it's kind of weird having this part in the game. I'm not gonna lie. I, like, I know Jurassic Park is supposed to be all about action in that. Along with us, that's cool. Just give Oscar his space. Doesn't do very good with kids. Or adults. Or animals. Come to think of it, doesn't do very good with anybody. Just stay out of his way. But I kind of, you learn more about Sorkin, I guess. It's a way to build character development so, and Sorkin. that kind of thing. Got arrested a bunch protesting for animal rights. But it so, doesn't Sorkin. seem Every to move the story any further. Because we know we have to get Can her. Any work around here? What are we, union now? <laughs> but she doesn't want to leave the island. It's just kind of like... Oh yeah, and I'm having issues trying to leave this venue because I totally brain farted rights. how to escape out of this conversation. It's been a while since I've actually had a conversation so, part in this game so I kind of get annoyed I do find my way out but yeah it's it's weird being a conversation like thing and I go for the menu to try to get out and it doesn't work so, Sorkin. and yeah <laughs> it's honestly you hit the escape key and I totally totally didn't think of it until I started bashing so, keys Sorkin. So you get to hear hippie type quite a lot, I apologize, but yeah. This is a good part for me to continue commentary, but yeah, I feel this part of the game a little out of place. Like, oh, there we go, I finally get out. Uh, but yeah, I honestly think, like, this part could have been taken out of the game. And maybe add something else different. What should I do? You want to help? See if you can dig up anything interesting on our friend Dr. Sorkin in those file boxes. Like it kind, of, like it kind of makes this the pace of the story just go to a halt. I knew Hammond was no real scientist, but someone should have seen this coming. Why have I never seen this? I thought I knew every dino on this island. What do I do? You know, Doc, I saw some bites like that of one of my men back at the visitor center. Mister, call me Billy. Mister Yoder, would you please tend to the InGen files like we discussed? Yes, ma'am. You know who our prisoner is? Because no one else seems to. Well, I've never seen her on the island before. I don't recognize her as someone who works for InGen. But I don't know everyone, so it's possible. Would be tempting to sedate the prisoner, not gonna lie. But I really think we need to be going. I'm 
afraid I can't, Mr. Yoder. Someone needs to tend to the dinosaurs during this disaster. I'm sorry, Dr. Sorkin, but InGen wants all survivors back on the mainland as soon as possible. No exceptions. Why can't it wait? Is there anything I can say to convince you to come with us? If there is, you haven't said it yet. Right. So that girl is your daughter? Now, yeah, see, like, the yeah. thing I'd be interested in is hearing their conversation, which you can't really switch characters if I remember correct. You're just with him. Um, but I would love to hear the dialogue they were having. It's like Dr. Sorkin wanted to turn this place into a dinosaur preserve instead of an amusement park. And InGen didn't go for it, huh? Why would they? There's no money in that. So Dr. Sorkin has a weakness for preserving wildlife. Good to know. Instead of this, because they do talk about the bite. Proposals. Yep. It would have been interesting to further delve into figuring out what that dinosaur is. Like, clearly it's something they've never seen, something that must have been created on the island, but they... How many times I tried convincing him. The park Don't mention it. In nature preserve. No theme park attractions, no cages. Hammond never really cared about the marbles I created for him. It's always been about so the money. You know the Dr. Sorkin... As I told you, I'm staying behind to watch after the animals. I'm sorry, but we really need to get you out of here. Why? Wouldn't this place be better off as some kind of dinosaur preserve? I mean, it's kind of stupid to treat these creatures like they're in some kind of circus, right? Huh. You have a point. But as long as John Hammond is in charge, the animals are going to need me here to ensure that they're treated with respect. Listen, Hammond really made a mess of this place. You have no idea. There's no hiding his incompetence after this disaster. Well, obviously that's true. If you knew how I spent my youth, you'd be surprised to find me working in a place like this. Someone needs to speak to the board about protecting these dinosaurs. You believe in animal rights, don't you? Wouldn't you put your neck on the line for them? You're absolutely right, Mr. Yoder. But none of this matters if the board of directors... I'm not supposed to say this, but I heard the board is going to hold an emergency meeting about, you know, new leadership. If you were there, you could act as a witness to the events that took place here. They'd have to listen to you. That's true. I hate to admit it, Mr. Yoder. But perhaps you're right. And our orders also mention an assistant? David. Yes. I'm afraid David won't be coming back with us. He... Told him to stay away from the quarantine. Oh, Dr. Sorkin, I'm, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Now, before we go, I have some work in the lab that must be completed first. Dr. Harding, perhaps you and your daughter would like to assist me. I've been working on a cure for one of our dinosaurs' nastier genetic disorders. Oh, which one? It's dietary. Right up your alley. Dr. Harding, we've done it. And what exactly have we done? Reverse the lysine contingency, of course. Wait, what? That? InGen, Henry Wu, added a gene to the dinosaurs that makes them dependent on supplements of amino acid called lysine. Without their weekly doses, they'll all die off. You cannot give that to the dinosaurs. They need to be contained. If any of them get off the island... Okay, listen. I've been working with the Parasaurs Behavioral Program for months now. If I go back to the mainland to fight for this place, they'll all be dead before I can get back. Along with all of my research. Parasaurs? Parasaurolophus. They're herbivores, generally safe. Let me give the solution to them, to see if it even works. How many are we talking about? Why don't you come out with me? See how much progress we've made with them. Henry, Dad? Fine. We'll go. Cool. So yeah, as you can tell, we, we it kind of adds more to this finally have you out staying here, here. Harding, despite the circumstances. We've been doing some very interesting work with our parasaurs, behavioral communication experiments. You've interpreted their calls. Some of them, and I plan to use that to get them out of the pen. Out? Well, I'm not going to treat their water with them still in there. How do we know there aren't any bad dinosaurs around? See, this part's actually really cool, I'm not gonna lie. Just because of the, what dinosaurs we're dealing no, with. These guys are cool. Or not, the dinosaurs told me. See that one? She's the lookout. 
She'll stand guard while the others graze. If there were any predators Officer. in the vicinity, she'd be nervous and emitting a danger call. But she's not. She's calm. Jerry, you can activate the speakers from there. Jess and I will set the various parasaur sounds that play through them. This is essentially the gopher, dinosaurs, or meerkat, or whatever animal yeah, rodent you want to call them. Okay. I mean, it's safe, right? The parasaurs will warn us of trouble before it gets close. Stay with Dr. Sorkin. I could be wrong with that statement, but the fact that they s show similar behaviors to, like, the gophers and the meerkat, where one will stand watch, where the other ones gather and hunt, and then when something's nearby, they emit a call and then run to the hills or whatever, it, it kind of screams that these guys are nowadays are gophers, are whatever rodents of similar brand. But anyway, I'm rambling. Um, okay, let's move some dinos. We can't just shoo the animals out. But we should be able to manipulate them into moving using their own sounds. Cool. These speakers on the west side of the pen can be set to play a parasaur food call that will attract the hungry dinos. The speakers on the east control the mating sounds that will attract the more uh, amorous dinosaur. What about the big set of speakers in the middle of the pen? Ah, those emit the danger call. The parasaurs will instinctively move away from it. So basically, we can herd the dinosaurs out of this pen using the speakers and their sounds. So essentially, this is a very simplified puzzle. I want to say simplified because if, if the solution, it's actually pretty easy. Um, yeah, like basically you're moving dinosaur A to the left, dinosaur B to the right, and hitting the button to make them run off. Um, but the fact that you get to see these dinosaurs and the designs is really cool. Like I love how they look. Um, they're just they're they're cute. And, and cute and like unique in their own little way. How do I turn on the speakers? I'll have to tell your dad to do it when we're ready. So yeah, as you can tell, I'm gonna turn one on, head to Harding, and get him to turn the one on, and it will move the dinosaur over. Anytime now? Okay, there we go. Okay, I have to do both, and then I do the, the thing. But the same, you know, you guys get my point. There we go. See, activate spe Harding? speaker. Yeah. <laughs> of course, you can't West do both. Speakers, please. You have to do one at a time, but yeah. I heard you were like a hippie protester or something in the 70s. Where'd you hear that? From Yoder. The 70s were a tumultuous time. I fought for what I believed in. And sometimes it gets you arrested. You were arrested? And you still got a job as a, you know, scientist? Paleogeneticist. And yes, youth is the time to be reckless and test your boundaries. It's how you learn what's important to you. So yeah, we're going to do it once more. We're going to tell him to activate the speakers. Dr. Harding? Yeah? I need you to activate the east side speakers, please. East side. Okay. And yeah, basically, you hit the center button, the scare one, and you get them out of the cage. Like It was a really simple puzzle. Uh, I wouldn't so say bummed what about it. To your assistant? Let's not talk about that right now. Did you work with him long? It doesn't matter. Oh. Listen, he was a wonderful young man. And I am sad. I really am. But if I let that stop my work, then all these animals will die too, trapped behind the walls that we built. Do you understand? So they never mention what happened to the assistant, but I'm guessing he got forward, attacked by the unknown mysterious oh, dinosaurs. Good thinking. Since she kind of knew how to counteract like the the seizure activity and whatnot, I'm guessing that's what happening. What happened? Words of English, blah. Doctor Harding. Yeah. Activate the danger speakers. And 
and there they go. They are leaving the facility. They're out. Good job, Jess. Finally, go forth and multiply. <laughs> You're pretty good at this. Maybe you'll be a behavioral scientist someday. Maybe I will. <laughs> This is why she was elected to be the lookout. What's wrong with her foot? It's a broken toe. Feel free to have a look. I just have to do one more thing, and then we can leave. Lysine. If the dinosaurs are to have a fighting chance, they'll need the solution to survive. I'm still not sure. Jerry, this is my life's work. These are basically my children. I'm not gonna let these creatures die because some bureaucrat can't stand losing control. They deserve their own lives. Jess. So yeah, now we Dr. need to go Laura. put the lysine um, in the water. Laura, what's lysine? InGen, Henry Wu, added a gene to the dinosaurs that makes them dependent on supplements of an amino acid called lysine. Without their weekly doses, They'll all die off. I won't tell my dad, but I got a D in chemistry. Then today should be very educational. The solution we were creating at the lab will reverse this scenario, allowing the animals to live out their natural lifespan. We just need to get it into the main water supply. Okay, that should be easy, right? This is a big responsibility, Jess. I can handle it, Dr. Sorkin. I mean, Laura. Okay, Jess, let's get started. I'm telling you, man, almost made me swear off Chinese food forever. Yeah, right. I've never seen you refuse an egg roll. Ever. I said almost. Besides, my date was hot. You remember the girl with the blonde hair, uh, red scarf, uh, what, what was her name? Carmen San Diego. Oh, you remember her. She was the one that was wearing the... Hold on. Do you hear that? Alright, this part. Um, this part's interesting. It's the slow ones that I really hate the most. Because I keep failing them. Because I'm expecting fast paced. And once again, if you notice the audio thing cranked up really high during this part, but you can't really hear them talk. It's kind of annoying. And. I was going to say. I can't remember if I make it or not. Okay, there we go. That answers my question. Um, well, this is a good time to end the commentary here and the episode. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying this commentary let's play kind of shenanigans so far. Um, let me know, as usual. Like, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos as well. And with that, I'm hoping you guys are enjoying the commentary. The next one will be commentary as well. You guys have a good day. Bye.